the most prominent investment banks, consulting firms, The liberal firms arts education are hugely trains weighted people. With what you see with graduates. people coming out of Williams is there's a certain humility. Incredible impact, cast a real world, and presence we're always looking for a lot There are important policy problems that are on the line. I heard from one woman who graduated here in 2009 as a double history and economics major. She went to Goldman, and they told her that what really made her a star there was her ability to write quickly and clearly and to think on her feet and defend her arguments. And she said Williams seminars and tutorials were what really did that for her. A guy who's a Williams alum from the class of 1950, Wally Stern, told me that investing is really about creating a mosaic. And you get all of these pieces of information and you put it together and then you apply your judgment to that. And I think that's what people coming out of Williams can do. We've had some incredibly senior officials who were undergraduate alumni. Arthur Levitt was the chair of the Securities and Exchange Commission during the Clinton years. Kristen Forbes, class of 92, went from here to MIT. She's now on, I think it's a three-year leave, to be one of the external members of the Bank of England's Monetary Policy Committee that sets monetary policy. One of the most special things about our investment program is the alumni who are involved with us. If you look at our investment committee, there's six people on the committee and they're all incredibly influential in the areas where they work. We have quite a few people in the hedge fund world. Andreas Halverson is one of them. He's a board member, an investment committee member, and co-chairs one of our advisory committees. He's been amazingly helpful. Liz Robinson, she's one of the most incredibly accomplished and unassuming people I've met. She's a classic Williams person. Oh, who me? I'm just the global treasurer of Goldman Sachs. Now she's on the board and she's on our investment committee and has added a lot of value um, for our investment program. Having people like that on the committee, they're rock stars in their various parts of the world and it gives the investment office and the college in the investment world a lot of credibility. The Center for Development Economics was established in 1960. The first goal of the CD was to really improve the quality of policy analysis in developing country governments. It offers us an advantage I think that other liberal arts colleges would kill for. We have current and future policy makers and policy advisors here. We typically have 70, 80, this year we had 107 undergraduates taking classes with CDE. We have three alumni who've become heads of state, five finance ministers, uh, three central bankers, numerous heads of different departments. Uh, I've had people who've taken my course on financial development and regulation, and two or three years later, they're running financial regulation in their country. Seeing people in leadership roles who are Williams alums, um, who have that humility and are incredibly smart and incredibly successful and great investors and great leaders of people. I would say that's the distinction. There's a certain love of the college based on the experience that people have that they carry with them. And they look back and say, somebody helped me, I want to help them.